Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Choosing Beggar Reddit video. Choosing Beggar wants to sample a filet to make sure it's up to family standards. I was here last week and the chef let me try the lobster bisque. I was wondering about the bourbon filet. The filet is great. It's one of the few items that's been on the menu since we opened. How did you like the bisque? It was fantastic. I worry the family won't like the filet. Can you make me one so we can try it and then maybe we might order a family meal? Sure. How would you like it cooked? It'll be $34 after tax. I, I was thinking it would be free, like the bisque. I was immediately thinking, this is why we don't feed the critters. I'm sorry, filet mignon is expensive. I can't hand out samples. You did with the bisque? No, my chef did. And instead of bringing you back to buy a bowl of it, it just brought you back to get something else for free. This isn't a polite way to treat a customer. You haven't paid for anything, therefore not a customer. Good luck. Hey, don't forget to go to the paint store. I'm sure they have free samples as well. Holiday art commission story. I've never posted here before, but I've been mulling over a recent commission that's still stuck in my craw, and I thought this might be the right place to vent it out. Please excuse my poor storytelling skills. So let's get into this. I'm an artist who's slowly trying to start up a small business doing what I love and producing art. I mostly focus on anime and comic book style art, so realism, it's a struggle for me. Aside from my sister, I don't know many artists, and my family and friends can be a bit unrealistic in their view of how long and arduous the process of creating the final product can be. A close relative came to me last month, and they told me about a commemorative portrait they saw and how good of a gift it would be for their mother. I agreed it was a good idea and told some ways they might be able to achieve a similar effect on their own. They slowly convinced me that they weren't very tech savvy and that if it was so easy, I should just be able to do it for them. I'm not currently working on any commissions and although my mental health has been on a steep decline, I eventually caved and agreed. Like I said, they're a very close relative and to disappoint them would cause a lot of problems for me and generally feel really bad. So I wanted to please them and I reluctantly jumped into the project. All throughout the project, I had minor problems, but things were going okay for the most part. I checked in with them periodically to give updates and ask their opinion on the piece. All throughout, they kept being pretty distant and not wanting to be involved, just saying that whatever you do should be fine. You should be able to just throw something together. That is, until closer to the end of the project. They began asking about if it was done yet and pushing for it to be completed sooner. So, feeling antsy and panicked, not wanting to cause problems, I completed the piece in the shorter time frame, despite my saying that it wasn't done and needed more work. They again told me I should just be able to throw something together and that it really isn't that big of a project, asking why it was taking so long. To be clear, I was painting a portrait of two people whose photos I had to personally acquire through hours of research, then further hours of editing to even have a usable reference. Then I needed to color block out a more realistic classical art style that I'm not at all comfortable with. It's well known and I even reminded them that I am in no way, shape or form a classical artist. Anyway, all in all, I spent about 20 hours total on this portrait piece and when I finally showed them the final product, they just said, oh, that looks really goofy. Yeah, I don't want that. They asked me to see the edited reference picture I put together and said that it looked much better and that they just wanted that instead. After 20 hours of work and stress, I just wanted to cry at how nonchalantly they brushed it off. In my head, I was screaming about how much work I'd put into the piece and just how long it took to put together let alone all the stress in my life that was preventing me from taking commissions in the first place. Only to have this long unpaid project be casually tossed aside like it wasn't even anything. I messaged my sister about it. She's been a struggling artist for over a decade and she just said, yeah, that sucks, man. People can be buttholes and kind of shrugged. 
I know this isn't the most insidious or over-the-top choosing beggar story, and maybe I'm overreacting, but I just have to throw out there that if you know an artist and they're willing to do work for free, please don't just shrug off their work. It's such a blow and really crushes someone's spirit to really put their heart into a project to please you just to have it smacked down with such indifference. Netflix is literally cheaper than pizza. Netflix should be free. So, how would filmmakers make a living? Every movie or series would have a donate button on the side and people would be able to support the production if they liked what they watched. If generally people don't feel like giving money to them even after really liking the shows, then simply what is going to happen is a cheaper production or shows being cancelled. But that is not bad. It just would mean people don't value that series enough to give a part of their earnings to it. And naturally, a series that's not enough people care about isn't worth it. Netflix servers would be paid by taking a small fee out of the donations, and they should also have all possible shows on Earth. It would be a perfect catalog of all the movies and series and documentaries ever produced. They would finally be able to provide an actual good filter and use AI to predict what movie we would like to watch next, because they have a lot more of them now. And if Netflix didn't provide a good service on streaming, other platforms would also be able to stream anything for free, and they would be able to fill that gap, eventually causing Netflix to implement the functionality or die. This was an interesting note from a customer. To whom it may concern, dear valued vendors, our company wishes your family and friends the happiest of holidays. We have thoroughly enjoyed partnering together throughout the year. We will be celebrating the holidays with our staff on December 17th, 2021. We would like to take this opportunity to request the participation of our valued vendors in contributing gifts to assist us with celebrating our dedicated staff members. All items and gifts donated will be accepted, gratefully, but as a guide, we have listed a few items below for reference. Gift cards, preferably over $100, Alexa Echoes, iPads, Ring cameras, Apple Watches, AirPods, Roombas, TVs, and of course, MacBooks. We sincerely appreciate your participation in celebrating the holidays with our valued staff and look forward to continuing business with you into the new year. Sincerely, Choosing Beggar Corp. Guy uses Tinder like he's ordering a mail order bride. I'm looking for a woman with conservative values, pro-life, 2A and liberal. Please be 5'2 to 5'6, 105 pounds to 115 pounds, 32B to 32C, size 12 to 16 waist, and size 6 to 7 feet. Be fun, but down to earth. Be manicured and pedicured and keep yourself fairly clean. Your attire should be 80% casual, 20% formal, but be into wearing costumes in bed. Be trustworthy, honest, and also into movies, road trips, and family stuff. PG stuff with others, and R or triple X with me. You must also have or love dogs and no kids. 18 to 26 year olds only. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.